Hello and welcome. So this will be a relatively short stream, uh, but the uh, Scripts season one is here, and maybe even operating ish. <laughs> What's the time? Okay, so it's it's still like one minute off, so it should be launching soon. So this will be a relatively short stream, I think. Uh, just kind of trying to get the things set up. Um, because honestly, I don't have a bootstrap logic, so this will be interesting. <laughs> I actually have no idea what my scripts will do once they actually encounter like a completely new room with nothing around. Um, I'm pretty sure there will be a bunch of undefined things and complaints and stuff like that. Um, okay. In the meantime, uh, let's. Uh, Let's try to make sure that this will not break completely. Um, well, okay. First of all, I kind of have my spawns hard coded. That's a problem. <laughs> um, okay. I'm pretty sure I will need to look through this. Uh, we can kind of fix it temporarily just to kind of comment out everything that's not related to the main spawn and I think I will just do that for now to just fix it very quickly okay that should be fine um Let's just search for charge. Yeah. We can initialize the job schedulers. That's all fine. But not for the other rooms. Yep. This is all. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's like lots of pieces of interesting logic that I have lying around. Um, didn't exactly have enough time to clean all the code over weekend. Uh, but honestly, I think that should be mostly good enough. Like if we just comment out the code that's dealing with the other spawns and change the name of the main spawn, uh, it should be kind of working Fine. Uh, yeah, let's just quickly push it up. And let's see if things are running yet. Doesn't look like it. Uh, so yeah, we will see if... If this will actually start anytime soon, let's have a look at the, the Slack. People are saying no ticks. Okay. Yeah, so we are still waiting on the ticks to start. Actually, let me just add this to my screen as well. So capture. Um, this would be a window. Yep. 
it's window. Let's add the slack. Okay, and I will need to change this a bit. Yeah, so let's do like something like that. Yep, then. that um oops that's too much yeah we can just make it a bit bigger and we can follow what's happening on the select Yeah, we just put, make it slightly better cropped. Oops. That's still not good enough. What the heck? Yeah, okay, this is getting a bit better cropped. Oops, no. That was the wrong dimension. Okay, I think this is good enough for now. Okay, so we can kind of follow what's happening. Everyone waiting on the first ticks to happen. Exciting times. Okay. I mean, can we make any f more fixes to the code in the meantime? Um, I could start rewriting this into the the array of spawns. It wouldn't be a wasted time. Oh no, it's taking. Oh my god. Okay, is it? Wait, what? Uh, really? Wait, my code is empty. How is my code empty? Uh oh. That was wait. Main Um Yeah, I don't think mine is actually running, which is a problem. Uh, hmm. Ah, okay, so the, the control is definitely t ticking now. Okay. Uh, well... Interesting. So ticks are happening, but the code is not running.
Yeah, there's like no memory. Um. Hmm. Okay, let's make this a bit transparent now. Uh, filters. Um, hmm. How do I actually do that? Just let's just move it to the side somewhere for now. Yeah, so I can definitely see the control ticking down, uh, but there's nothing happening with my code. Oh, it not now paused. Okay. Man, this is stressful. <laughs> I don't know what will break. much happening so far so how many people do we actually have so around me I kind of picked like this this corner because I wanted you know a reasonable amount of space around me And there's quite a lot of space to kind of expand and there's also I have kind of this natural barrier in the swamps which isn't like super crazy but it's pretty nice um, and there were some tasty rooms around I remember like I was even considering like maybe expanding here um, yeah like it's it's like this square is four people pretty close to each other which is interesting i don't know why we would do that uh but yeah i mean we are also four people but more spread out it's like two people in this one so it's not like stuffed right now there's still plenty of space break I cannot the, the thing is I don't really want to switch from this window <laughs> uh, well uh, it should have started already uh, but so what happened was the 
Oh, they reset it. Okay, so that it ran for a short bit, but not any of the code. Like the thing started running and the controller started ticking down. Uh, and now I see it's reset again. So let me actually move this to here. So the controller now is reset again. Uh, but it was basically tick, tick down like 81 ticks, but no code was actually running. Um, so we will see, like, uh, apparently there are, yeah, apparently they are setting up still some things, we'll see. Oh, yep, yeah, something is happening. Yes, we are running. Okay, I'm spawning something. What am I spawning? I'm spawning a worker. Okay. That's... Fine. Uh, but potentially I want to tweak the memory limits. Uh, where's the limits? I want just one worker for now, please. Uh, oops, didn't, yeah, that's uh, actually a good idea. Don't want to do that. <laughs> um, so rooms, right. Rooms dot e eleven and twenty one uh, dot limits. Okay. One worker for now. Now, the tricky part is, this worker isn't really capable of mining, so I kind of need to wait on this thing to spawn a drill. Um, but yes, we are running. Oh, and let me actually remove this now, because this is no longer relevant. Yep. Okay, so... How much does actually a drill cost? Because I don't remember. Um, let's do docs, uh, scripts. So I think for the drill, what I do is um, hmm. technically the manager should, should just have a move and a work, and that's it. Uh, so, uh, oh, that was under the API, right. Under spawn dot spawn creep, yep. Uh, was it not here? Uh, it was under creep, yes, here. Okay, so move is 50, work is 100. So I think at 150, we should actually spawn why did I minimize that? Yeah. Oh, cool. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> yeah, JavaScript is a uh, yeah, very specific language. Uh, damn it, why am I not Spawning drills. Okay, that's a bit concerning. Um, uh, cannot read property X of undefined. Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, hopefully, that's not a problem. Uh, fail to schedule spawn of drill. Okay, am I trying to spawn the drills that are like too big to spawn? That's definitely a possibility. Um, let's just quickly double check. So, ensure sources have drills. Um, what I do is, an, uh, right, I base it on the energy capacity. So, I'm trying to spawn a 250 capacity one. Okay, so yeah, le let's see. Uh, so, at 250, I should actually spawn a drill. Um, But yeah, get, getting there. I'm pretty sure I'm already like way behind.
What the heck? Some people are already at, at uh, control level three. What? <laughs> okay, I'm getting the feeling that this world will be very tough for me to play in. <laughs> like I'm getting the feeling that I will just get demolished. Oh jeez, I'm just waiting here for 250 ticks, do not doing anything. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, almost there. 240 energy. At 250, it should really spawn a drill. And we are spawning a drill. Perfect. <laughs> okay, <laughs> at least something is working. Oh jeez, okay, I was getting worried. Oh uh, man. Okay, so now... We Why are you going down there? God damn it! <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Uh, well, I'm, I'm actually... Con uh, damn it. Yeah, screw it. I will just leave it as it is. Uh, <laughs> I was actually considering manually changing this drill to point to the other thing uh, because that's like very unfortunate that it picked the the more like the more remote one for now. Oh uh, well. But yes, okay. I like in the meantime, like this will be slowly bootstrapping. So let's just let's just see what other people are doing, just for like reference. Eh, not not too way ahead of me. Um, yeah, hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, I guess let's just check the surrounding people. So who's kind of like this guy is like in a reachable range, potentially. Uh, and there's nothing happening here. Good. Okay, <laughs> it makes me feel much better about myself. Um, no wait, I've seen red. Or was I looking at a different person? Uh, oh, it's just these two red blocks. Okay, cool. Oof. Okay. No, no feeling. Yeah, feeling much better about myself at this point. Okay, so we are, we are starting mining. Yeah, the yeah, this is refreshing. Okay, so like once we have two drills, like things will become way more stable. Okay. Whew. Oh, apparently some things are actually not working right now. Okay. So you cannot create construction sites uh, using API apparently. And apparently also flex don't work. I'm I'm starting to get like you know feeling a bit better about myself by not using advanced features because some of those are broken. Okay, cool. Okay, this guy is coming here. There should be resources on the ground. Very good. Uh, I'm wondering, would it be better to just spawn another worker now, or do I want to drill first? I think I want to drill first. But yeah, like the code is... Like, ignoring the small detail that I didn't have the spawn set up. This, this is not the fastest start, but it's pretty resilient. Okay, almost there for the second drill. We are missing like 30 energy-ish to kind of spawn the second drill. Ah, good stuff.
Okay, uh, since this is kind of taking forward, let's just go and fix the um, the spawn logic. Uh, because that's an easy fix, it just needs to be switched over to a loop instead of the previous logic. Uh, so, instead of just having... I mean, so this is actually... Or, so this is a... Uh, yeah, I can just loop over the spawns whenever I have something like this, right, so then for um, spawn of object dot values of uh, game dot spawns uh, oh, let and then basically we just want to do this thing uh, for the spawn And I'm already noticing some issues, uh, because this actually doesn't allow for multiple spawns in a room. Hmm. That's a bit of a, an oversight. Okay, let me actually write this down. This does not allow for multiple spawns in a room. Okay, do we have the... Wait a second, why is the second drill not spawning? What the heck? Um, I don't think it's even trying to spawn the second reel. Um, that's um, interesting. Wait a second, does this have it in spawning? Uh, how did that end up in there? Yeah, stuff is happening and there are bugs apparently, uh, which is, but like very weird bugs. And yeah, welcome back. What the heck is happening? Um. My drills were not spawning because somehow the logic got stuck. I'm really not quite sure what happened there. Um, that was very, very strange. Uh, no, I'm, I'm done with work for today. Um, it was just like very tight. <laughs> I basically clo closed down all the wor work related browsers and everything and started the stream. <laughs> that was basically what happened. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think the first thing I really need to concentrate on is just spawning a bunch of workers. So let's just do that. And let's just keep fixing the code a bit. Uh, so right, so this thing needs to be also for all the spawns. For let spawn of object dot values of game dot spawns. Yeah, for all of them, just please initialize the schedulers. Hmm. Where do I use this thing? Do I just use it here? Oh, that might be it. Interesting. So, I mean, in that case... Let's just make it one big loop. That's fine. So, again, let's spawn off game. Uh, Object dot values uh, game dot spawns. Uh, let's just get the room spawn room. Uh, get it from the spawn. Yep. And yes, please ensure that sources have drills in the spawn. Sp 
spawn room sources, spawn room drill map. It should be fine. And then, yeah, let's start the respawn manager in this room. So, spawn that room. Uh, hmm. Yeah, the rooms have scouts, controls are reserved, and controls are owned. Uh, that's a bit tricky. Because for that one, I actually use like a specific source uh, controller uh, spawn. Um, hmm. Yeah, I definitely want to do the defend room thing in all the rooms. So this one. Oh, let me just copy it. I keep just rewriting this for, for loop all over the place. Yeah, so this one I definitely want to do for all the rooms. That's correct. What's happening here? Uh, is stuff happening? Uh, I think stuff stopped. Yeah, looks like it. It's not me. It's it's the the game is not ticking. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of expect that there will be <laughs> interesting issues in the short term. Um, yes, please defend all the rooms. Uh, da -da -da. Then we have the rolls, uh, and then we do the serialize uh, for all the all the rooms uh right okay so that thing we actually can do also as a loop uh it was this piece of logic over here yeah so spawn room and then spawn room dot serialize so this one go away and I, yeah, that was the last mention of this, which is good. So the last thing that I don't really have solved is this specific piece of logic. Um, so I mean, for now, yeah, so for what I will do for now is just take the first thing out of the yeah because this i want to change anyway so th these things need to move under the respawn manager um but for now let's just do uh const source uh spawn and just hard code it to game dot spawns um uh no so object dot values from game dot spawns zero yeah ju just just grab the first one for now and yeah this will be a thing that i need to fix over weekend because uh, we moved the other things under the respawn manager already. Uh, I haven't moved this specific piece of code because this kind of deals with maps and other complexities that I don't really... Like, I didn't yet decide how, how I want to deal with those in memory. Um, but this will, this will work for now. Uh, and we are ticking again, good, uh, we are spawning a bunch of workers, which is good. Uh, and yeah, we should be getting this controller upgraded pretty soon. Yeah, and this is my old scheduling logic, like the creeps are getting confused all the time, unfortunately.
Yeah, now this one changes his mind because this one finished its job. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> did the ticks stop again? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, interesting. Okay, let's, yeah, let's have a look. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean... That's a lot of creeps, yes. Okay, so these are dedicated haulers, right? Yes, okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I'm not in a horrible position either. <laughs> I do say have some creeps. Uh, yeah, but I mean, it, it's a thing I'm definitely considering having like dedicated roles, uh, specifically just for holding the, the resources. That's a, that's definitely a thing that happens a lot, and. Uh, so I do the same thing, by the way. Um, so I have dedicated miners that just don't don't have any storage, and they just drop the stuff on the floor. So yeah, it, it's a, it basically allows you to kind of then have the workers not deal with drilling, which is a very nice thing. But yes, I do actually want to do containers here and here. And I also want to build... I cannot build walls yet. Okay, that will need to wait a second. Um, but yeah, we are, we are getting to upgrading our controller now, finally. What's the... Why can I not... Okay. So it's still zero progress. So wait, what is he building actually? Or is he just using all the resources to spawn new creeps? Ah, okay. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, like for me it would be nice to actually have... Uh, level two because then I can build walls and make sure that uh, the drills are always in the correct position but then yeah, maybe actually the more efficient thing is just to have a bunch of workers because this is one thing I, I i'm not quite sure what's more efficient like having very big workers or having a bunch of small workers like obviously a bunch of small workers will consume more cpu but right now that's not a concern right like right now who cares like th there's plenty of cpu cap so why would you not but yeah, uh, definitely interesting stuff happening, uh, for sure. Man, I would need to change this job scheduling logic because it's just so flaky. I hate it so much. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they keep changing their minds all the time. It's so bad. Wait a second, why is that? I 
I'm a bit confused. The... Oh no, I have the wrong thing. So it wasn't so oh, it wasn't selecting the correct thing. I was like, why is it ticking up? But that was the energy. Okay, I'm just. But yes, come on, we need to get to level two. Hmm. So. This is quite new for me because so far whenever I had a new room it got basically bootstrapped from adjacent rooms and at that point you don't care. Uh, I would just send like bunch of builders in there and they would just you know mine and, and build the initial stuff because they were pretty fat workers they you know they were pretty fast at it. Um, but yeah I mean th there obviously needs to be like uh, some sort of worker number cap because you always kind of get some sort of constraints as far as movement goes or something like that like you know you obviously don't want to have like 100 workers just like getting stuck on each other all the time um so yeah, it's it's definitely interesting um, did we pause again i think we did Oh wait, did I get locked out? Let's just reload. Hmm. Interesting. This... No, this tab also is locked out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Things are broken a bit. It's it's a bit unfortunate, but you know, kind of inevitable whenever you are launching something like this. Yeah, I, I still have the, the Slack opened on the side and I'm kind of watching the chat. Yeah, I have seen that. Uh, and I think also flags were not working from code. So a bunch of the like from code placement was not working uh, and was broken. Oh, maybe, maybe. Okay, sign in. Come on. No, that's the wrong world. I want to <laughs> go to the seasonal one, please. Alright, yes. Okay. Oh, we are RC level 2. Okay, cool. Um, let's plop down some more things. So we want uh, extensions now. Okay, now I need to think about it a bit. <laughs> Where do I actually want to place my extensions? Um, hmm. Man, this room actually isn't the best. I'm just realizing. <laughs> Why did I pick it? Uh, let's just place them 
one, two, three, four, five over here for now. What are my neighbors doing? Hmm. <laughs> That's uh, interesting. Yeah, so we are slowly building the container that will wait, wait uh, take a while for sure. This one I suspect is even, yeah, this one is even less built up, yep. Uh, okay, what's the resource situation actually? Uh, we have a bunch of resources on the ground. Uh, and not too many over there, okay. Uh, so I feel like couple of more couple of more workers would be actually appropriate uh, so let's jump it from 8 to 10 Yes, I think my kind of basic bootstrap is done. Uh, this will just take like a while for things to kind of build up. Uh, what I can definitely also do is I can plop down the blocking walls on the mining places so things don't get confusing. Uh, and I guess let's just have a bit of a look around. So, I mean, this is m one of my neighbors that I care about. This guy is the other one. Uh, there wasn't really anything happening here when I checked last time, and there still isn't really anything happening. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, let's have a look at this person. Uh, huh. Interesting. Building roads like so fast, that's kind of... Ah, because there's a swamp. Okay, sure, makes sense. Why would... Why would you put your spawn in the middle of a swamp? That looks like a weird decision to me. Yeah. I have to say... That looks like a bit of a weird... Decision. It's kind of like switching on hard mode. Mm, who else is kind of close by? I guess this person. Bunch of mining happening. Upgrading the controller. Uh, okay, I mean... Like from the people that are around me... Uh, it looks kind of okay. I'm not really seeing anything that would make me super scared right now. I mean, it's possible that... Because now everything is a different color, that... Whoever this is didn't realize that this is actually a swamp. Because, I, I mean, I don't think there's like... Um, like, you you know, if, if you click on it you don't really see any information, right? Like, it doesn't tell you that this is, uh, you know. That's actually, like, one thing that's kind of weird, like... 
I mean, if I click on the ground, I would kind of expect to, like to see, oh, this is ground, right? Or if I click on a wall, oh, this is a wall. Considering like all the other things are actual entities. Yeah, I mean, we are upgrading stuff. Things are happening. Could be building a bit faster, honestly. Uh, how many builders do I have set up actually? So what are my limits? Um, I'm using two builders, four upgraders, two refills. You know what, since we are in the early stages, let's just make four of you actually build stuff. I think that's fair. Hmm, it would also be nice if you wouldn't like build random stuff and instead actually finish the things that we started. <laughs> oh my god. Uh... Yeah, the, the new job scheduler cannot get here fast enough. <laughs> like, this is all so broken. Oh my god. Uh. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. I think weekend streams will be interesting because like this kind of forces different priorities on me now when I will be working on the code. Um, because on the like nonsense on award, it was kind of like, yeah, I'm already behind on everything. So I don't really care that much about some things. So it's okay if some things are a bit inefficient, you know, but now on this season award, like these things actually matter. So I don't know, like I kind of feel like I don't need to switch over like some of my priorities and start working on some things <laughs> that I was like, like meh on before. Um, yeah, still need to figure out like what will be the actual layout that I build here. I'm kind of thinking that maybe... Hello, and thank you for the follow. Oh. Thank you for the follow. I'm still kind of thinking that uh, possibly I could do like a road here, then the extensions here, then a road here, something like that. Because then I have a road next to my spawn, which is kind of neat. But yes, I I did pick like a pretty cramped area, to, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know why I did it. Okay, I know why I did it. Because I was like, okay, I don't want to be in a complete open. I kind of want to be able to close some of these things. But still, like this is, this is pretty cramped. Uh, Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I can imagine that, that that would be a problem. Yeah, like I'm just building with manual, yes. Um, construction sites, flex, uh, and limits, I'm still sit setting up manually. But I like, the thing is, even when I implement like automated placement of those, I think that will just be like a layer on top. So if the layer isn't working, I can just do it manually and it will still work. Uh, I think that's kind of the approach I will take. Because I really like the idea of being able to like, you know, come in and say, oh, you know, my priority is now changed and I kind of want to have like this many creeps or whatever. I just want to build this thing over here and so on. Um... And we are paused again. Oh well. Mm. 
Yeah, but people are basically complaining <laughs> that they cannot do much without the construction sites. Yeah, I can I can imagine that it's it's tricky. Oh, okay, so there's an update. Uh, so the ticks will resume when the, once the construction sites and flags are resolved. Okay. So yeah, so the, the, this will be paused, I, I suspect, for a bit. Yeah. Hmm. Hey, welcome back. Right now we are paused because things are being fixed. Um, and the thing is, I don't actually know when they will be fixed. I mean, they're obviously working on it. Um, but I don't know. Oof. No idea if it's worthwhile waiting for that, honestly. Uh, I will wait for a bit, uh, and if, if it doesn't get fixed within like 20 minutes, I will just go offline. Um, so the uh, few things were bugged, if you are not following. Um, the automatic placement of construction sites was failing, and the automatic placement of flex was failing. But fortunately, my code is still so crap that I don't do those things automatically, so yay! <laughs> uh. It's it's sometimes it is good to be bad. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, <laughs> that wouldn't work out for you too much. Yeah. I mean, I have been looking around, like you know, um, since things are paused, we can explore again. Uh, so what are our neighbors doing? I think this person is kind of relying on the automated placement probably because there's nothing really happening here. Um, I mean specifically this kind of weirdness around the spawn with, you know, just a bunch of these. It could also be that they are all trying to give resources into the spawn, maybe? Also, oh, you didn't even touch it and it just worked out for you. Oh man. Like, I had to actually do stuff. <laughs> that's, that's, that's good. Um, yeah, my problem is that uh, my code, like, new rooms kind of always happened by like bootstrapping from a different room. So, I, my code actually wasn't really ready for, for like starting from scratch, I realized. Uh, I mean, it was close, like, it, it wasn't a big, big problem, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> I had to fix a couple of things. Ah, right. But still, like, you know, like, keeping the, st the, the starting code, essentially, is something that I didn't really do because I replaced it like four times already. Um, yeah, th this person is very interesting. For whatever reason, they picked to start in a swamp. I suspect by mistake um, because it's a different color, so maybe it wasn't obvious. Uh, and I mean, if you click on it, nothing really shows up, so that you know could be part of the problem. Uh, but yeah, this is interesting. Like it's basically a swamp. Uh, swamp spawn. <laughs> uh, what what do we have around as well? I was looking at this person. Well, you still need to maintain them because they decay much faster in swamp. Um, so there's not much happening here. Also at RCL level two, you know, pretty pretty normal stuff happening. Uh, we have the person down here below me. There's literally nothing happening here. Uh, wait, no. 
Oh yeah, sorry, I jumped too much. Uh, I wanted to look at this person. Uh, yeah, there's nothing happening here. So you are saying you are West 15, South 9. Okay, West uh, 15, South 9. Oh, this, this room, okay. Oh, yeah, just wait. What? <laughs> like, how did you manage with? Wait, what? the hell did you manage to get to a f five body part creep uh, shouldn't you not have enough energy for that how much is that is that for, is that 300 oh it's two carries two moves and one work Oh yes, okay, so then it is... Oh, okay. Wait a second. Why am I... Uh... Huh. Okay, where the heck is, is, is my world? <laughs> now I completely lost where I am. Uh... Uh, jeez. Uh... Man, like fortunately this is a relatively small map. Oh, here I am. Okay. Uh, why am I only doing? Hmm, I should be also building creeps with two carry and two move. Huh. What's my template for a worker? That's um It's quite interesting. I, I'm intrigued by this. I don't know why exactly this is happening. Um so this is entry rooms have workers, right? Make a dynamically sized worker. Right. This is why. Hmm. It's interesting. I, I'm I'm really wondering. If it makes sense. I mean, this is a bit more energy efficient, I guess. Uh, this is definitely something to think about. Um, Oh, I know why. Because with this setup, you have like weird rounding, don't you? Because like if you are not carrying anything, then you are fine. Then you are just moving what per tick on any on on a road or on a base ground, right? But if you are carrying stuff, then you are moving like free, free fatigue and spending two. So like basically, yeah, it gets rounded up to two, like 
two, uh, like one move every two ticks. So for this, basically, I would go for like this kind of setup, but that's too much energy now, right? But even... Well, if you have one less carry, then you just might as well go with 1-1-1, one, 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 no? But didn't you have like five pieces on your on your creep? Was I miss like looking incorrectly? Where was that? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. It, so the reason why I'm talking about this is because I remember thinking about this in like the early episode. Uh, but this does this actually work out with a road? Oh, it does with a road because you get like free fatigue and you are generating four. Right. Okay, yes, okay, now I get you. Hello, hello and welcome to the stream. Yeah, everything is paused right now. Uh, they are fixing some bugs. Um, so people couldn't... What the heck is this? Uh, let me just move this to here. Is there like a different UI for scripts that you can use? There's a 3D client. How did no one tell me sooner that there is a 3D client? <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh, uh, who did I miss? Uh... Hello, hello, and welcome to the stream. Oh jeez, okay. Man, there's so many crazy stuff with this game. Uh, it's just nuts. But yes, like the... Uh, yeah, this message basically, they will resume TX1, they have fixed the create construction site and flex. Which isn't working right now, which kind of breaks some people's logic because they they place things automatically. Which I don't, because my, my code is still pretty crappy, <laughs> which is benefit right now. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, this is my base so far. Oh wow, so many followers. Welcome, welcome. Uh, and by the way, anyone, any questions, just feel free to ask, feel free to interrupt. Uh, Super happy to explain things. Uh, right now, not much is happening because we are just paused because there's a bug uh, that the devs are fixing. Um, and what, because um, automated placement of construction size and flex was not working, which was not a problem for me, but definitely broke other people's logic. And actually, let me have a look at the 3D scripts in the meantime. Um, uh so okay so this is um unity thing okay and there are no releases so i expect i would have to compile this myself um hmm i mean i don't see builds like in hmm yeah, there's like no builds in the GitHub repo. It's possible that they're like somewhere. 
else. Wrong link. Ah, it's old repo. Okay. Uh, well, do you have a new repo? <laughs> Someone? <laughs> Ah, yeah, there are releases. Okay. Uh. Hello, hello, and welcome. Wow, this is crazy. Where's the actual release? There's so many screenshots, oh my god. <laughs> uh, wait, I, and now I don't know if I skipped like a release. So, okay, so this is like 0, 0.0... What is it? 0 0.08? Okay. Did I accidentally go over like a previous release? I don't think I did. Okay, no, I didn't. Okay, Jesus. So many screenshots. Oops. Uh, right, okay. Uh, let's do Windows. Uh, sure. Ah, okay. <laughs> sure make a release <laughs> oh my gosh this is crazy uh like this community is absolutely mental i love it uh, <laughs> it's like i'm just looking at a random project and the dev just jumps in hey do you want to make a release yes please do thank you very much i do appreciate <laughs> it's amazing oh brilliant Truly brilliant. <laughs> uh, this is still paused. Uh, it's fine. Uh, okay, there's some interesting poll going on right now that we should maybe delay everything by 24 hours we will see uh right okay sorry Ben. what is this one link uh oh the polling yes 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 I don't mind dealing by 24 hours, honestly. Uh, but yes, like some sort of time frame would be actually nice. Uh, like knowing that, okay, like I don't have to watch it for, you know, 24 hours would be kind of cool. Um, <laughs> like considering people start they're starting to use like new emoticons is becoming pretty confusing. <laughs> so, <okay. laughs> uh. <laughs> but yes, cool, cool stuff. <laughs> yeah okay so that thing is fine um i mean i fix basically the only things i really needed to fix was the kind of switching the spawns into an array i mean not really switching them into an array but just taking them out of the spawn uh, game dot spawns um but i did already find like small bugs because 
there I have a piece of code that doesn't really assume that I have multiple spawns in a room. Um, which will be a bit of an issue. Definitely. Well, in the season of war, yes, but I kind of want to have this code work for both of the environments. Uh, and in the non-season, I already have, uh, what is it, level, uh, I don't even know. Uh, but I definitely can actually build a second spawn in my, in my like, first room already. <laughs> People are like, hmm, I could use the time to fix my code. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with the code. Everything is internet behavior. Unless you are selling it, and then it's a feature. I mean, the only really seasonal thing will be collecting those points, right? Like, there isn't really... Like, all the economy, the warfare, everything will be the same. The, the big things that I know about that are different is, first of all, there will be no market. Yes, there's, there, there will be no market. Uh, and welcome. Uh, and then... Uh, the second big thing is that will be the like points to collect, right? Uh, but other than that, like everything is kind of the same. I mean, it will be way more intense because this is, you know, the, I've, I don't remember if this is this actually the size of a proper shard or is this actually small? I think this is this is like a tiny thing, no? Like, the normal shards are much bigger, or am I just being crazy now? Yeah. So, the, I mean, it will be pretty intense, I think. Yeah. So, I think the big change will be, like, the amount of stuff happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I think GCL is still working the same, no? I think it is. I mean, if it didn't, then it would be completely nuts. I mean, there needs to be some sort of throttling. Like, there are people that have, like, crazy good logic already. So, you know, if, if you kind of make it... Uh... Oh, you mean like your GCL from from the non-seasonal, if it counts. Uh, right. No, so that... that uh, but I think GCL will work the same, right? Like you need to harvest whatever amount of energy uh, to get to GCL2. And so on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry, uh, that's what I meant. Like, it works It works the same, not not it gets transferred from your, like, non-seasonal. Yes, that would be weird. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all the same start, uh, but it's not like that we are playing at, like, a faster speed or something. 
Um, because there's there's definitely something. To, well, technically we are playing at faster speeds because the ticks are actually pretty fast. Um, so, yeah, this 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 world because it's so small. I suspect that the ticks will actually run much faster, like you know, four times, five times that fast. So, yeah, it, it like I'm really looking forward to this experience. It will be very interesting to see what happens. I I kind of where is actually Tiga? Uh, where is his uh, spawn? Can I search? Uh, here. So where is that? That's East 18 South 8. Eh. It's not like on the opposite side of the world, but it's it's also not like super close. So yeah. <laughs> I, I basically try to like plot, plot myself somewhere where it kind of looks like I will be okay for a while. <laughs> I, I'm I'm very cowardly with, with my AIs. Like I just want to hide in the corner, which is literally what I did. <laughs> I just spawned in the corner. But yeah, I I'm, I I have to <laughs> say I'm kind of regretting my choice of room. Because I picked like a very cramped room, which is good because I can kind of wall it off, but... Oh, you are in striking range. Damn it. <laughs> uh, everything is paused right now, so I suspect you cannot really make uh, changes right now. Yeah, so they, they basically paused it because there were bugs. Uh, and those, those are getting fixed. I mean, it was even faster than two seconds. It was like one second per tick for a while. But yeah, like it, it will at least early on. Uh, like this will go pretty fast, I expect. Oh, even when it was actually running. Interesting. So I did have an issue where I couldn't spawn, but then. They fixed it. So open try opening a ticket. Maybe there's something that's like blocked on the accounts where you cannot like spawn. Yeah, yeah, just just open uh just open a ticket because that's what I had to do. I could like whenever I tried to make a spawn, it would basically uh kick me out back to like the starting screen where you select your uh like world. And yeah, I just opened a ticket and then it worked once, you know, I, maybe there, there's something in the database that wasn't really like allowing me to do that. Apparently I wasn't the only one, so maybe you are getting hit with the same thing. Uh, it's, it's definitely worth a shot. Okay, is anything happening? Let's just catch up with the... With the chat history on Slack. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything is really happening right now. Yeah, I think I will give it like a couple of more minutes and if nothing is really happening. Holy crap, so many people are watching, I didn't even, even notice, wow. <laughs> what the heck? Uh, why are you guys watching me do nothing, literally? <laughs> like the world is paused. <laughs> Holy crap, so many people. Amazing. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, the problem is I don't know if I can manage after like a fu full day of work uh, at work. Uh, uh. Yeah, like I really just wanted to kind of start my colony and that was it for today. 
um, I did fix like a couple of more more. <laughs> you are here for the suspense, okay? <laughs> That's fair. Uh, yeah, I fixed a couple of small things in my code. Um, I guess we can. I will probably not write too much, but I can definitely think about how I want to actually fix uh, some of these uh, leftovers that I have over here. So one of the issues that I run into here is for my scouts uh, and for my claimers that reserve resources. Uh, uh, that uh, for my claimers, uh, I kind of use like a specific spawn as a source. Um, so right now I just kind of changed it to point to the first spawn. Uh, but that's probably not the best approach. Um, now, the best approach would be to kind of use the same logic I use for the other remote operations, which is just to pick the, like, the closest spawn. The reason why I didn't do that, though, is I still kind of have these maps um, that don't serialize neatly into memory. So I really need to figure out some sort of solution for this. Um, one solution is pretty simple, like I can still serialize, right? Like I can basically, let me just switch to the uh, respawn manager, right? Okay, so my respawn manager basically just takes memory, um, which is of that specific type. Um, I did hear about the scripts arena, uh, but I didn't really look into that. Uh, I think that's maybe a bit too intense for, for what I'm doing right now. I'm still very much in the economy stage. Uh, but maybe I will have a look at, like, proper look at it at some point. We'll see. Like it. To, to be brutally honest, it kind of suits me that I can just kind of leave my stuff running for a bit and not really like obsessively watch it. That, that That's a nice feature, <laughs> definitely. That's actually a good point. Like, yeah, playing scripts and you know, optimizing your like attack and defense code. <laughs> yeah, replace. Yeah, okay, that could be interesting, definitely. Um, right, so... Basically, what I do now for the remote operations, I just have defined like a memory type. And all of these are just arrays for now, so it's very simple. Um, and then in the respawn, I just take it in, you know, just make sure that things are actually initialized. Um, that's the only thing that this piece of code is actually doing. Uh, but other than that, since, you know, this, these are just arrays, they just neatly serialize. Um, so I don't really need to have like an explicit serialized method, uh, which is very nice. Now, I could kind of get around these maps maybe, because the string here is a room. Um, although this string over here is actually yeah, so for the scouts, it's a room, but for the claimers, it's actually... No, is it the room as well? Okay, I actually need to check this. Wait a second. Uh, that's um, that's a good point. If it's a room, I could just pass in the room memory. Um, and then just iterate over that. And that way, I kind of get around the the maps because it's kind of naturally inside of the room memory because rooms are already a map um hmm maybe that's a way to kind of get around uh, this issue 
Uh, but I need to check if this is actually... If this is actually the room, because that I do not remember. Uh, where is this thing actually used? Yeah, it comes into this function. <coughs> Controller map. Get room. Yeah, okay, so yes, it is, it is the room name. Um, hmm. Yeah, then if, if I... What do you mean why I'm live without telling you guys? I linked it in the Discord, come on. <laughs> like, what, what else should I do? And we have a lot of people watching, by the way. And it's crazy. Uh, and especially considering nothing is really happening because the game is paused right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of fixing small things. Uh, because that's what I do. I I should, yeah, okay. My next project will be an SMS gateway so everyone gets a notification. <laughs> Damn it. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, uh, you know like honestly the more appropriate thing would be like a prometheus with an alert manager <laughs> and you get an alert when i start streaming uh. <laughs> Uh, geez. Okay. So what if we take... We would basically have to take the... The room map. How does that actually look inside of the memory? I don't even know. Uh, so there is room memory, right? Uh... Oh, but that's actually coming directly from scripts. <laughs> um, I don't know how to interpret that. Liked your hair, as in you liked it before, or <laughs> you like it now? <laughs> that's an interesting sentence. Um, <laughs> okay, good to know. Uh, geez. Uh, let's... Uh, where's my scripts? Well, at least I'm having a, f having a lot of fun right now with all the craziness happening. Um, so, I mean, here it's a room. I mean, this is a map, isn't it? No? I mean, okay, like... Technically, this is an object name, but that doesn't matter, right? Like, if it's if it's an element of rooms, then it also works like a map in JavaScript. Um, so if I just take memory.rooms into my respawn, then I can kind of hide the map inside of that. Hmm. I like that. I like that idea. Um, so what would that be? Uh, hmm. What is memory dot rooms? So this is. Yeah, so this is a map in TypeScript. Um, so if I just take this... Huh. 
<laughs> watch me break my coat in in such a brutal way that I cannot fix it later. <laughs> uh, um, actually, not like. Well, I can kind of make this like this. Uh, private room mm, rooms memory, which will be of this type. Now. The question here is, will this still get correctly, like, just referenced and not accidentally copied or anything? Uh, because this is always my concern with JavaScript, I still don't quite understand uh, the way things are passed around. Um, and when we initialize it, what I want to put in is just memory.rooms, right? So yeah, we, when we create the object, just pass in the respawn me manager memory, which is just inside of the memory, and then the memory for the rooms. Yeah, so the respawn manager, that one has the global stuff, and then this one will have the like per room specific stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> It, this gets fun when you do that at work. <laughs> it's like, you know what, let me just add simple monitoring, everything explodes. <laughs> just recently I managed to introduce a deadlock by adding a metric. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, the the word was also my reaction. <laughs> uh, man. Uh, things you can do when you are not paying the attention. It's like, yeah. A amazing stuff especially when you are digging through like legacy code that's you know there be dragons definitely um right so now when we have the room's memory so what i'm kind of thinking yeah glossing over errors is like how my brain works is whatever I like make myself I'm unable to perceive the errors in that because usually the error is like a typo or something but my brain is still filling in like the correct thing <laughs> and I cannot see the error and then I, when I you know I, I call in a colleague or something and they're like hey what's this I'm like uh what's that <laughs> this is bloody brilliant always <laughs> uh so respawn man manager memory uh per room so this type will be for the memory per room, and then basically this thing I want to put into my room memory. Respawn manager. Uh, actually, let me just double check that. Do I call it respawn manager? Yes, I call it respawn manager over here as well. Uh, and I kind of want to keep the same naming. That's kind of fun. Uh, wait a second. Uh, oh, okay.
reading too much too many things at the same time sorry getting confused and distracted uh, <laughs> right so now that we, now that we have this thing uh, what was that we wanted to actually put into here it was a map from the room and now we are inside of the room a uh, map to map to something uh, map to um, hmm. it was the claimer map oh, okay so right so this is just the id creep yes because this i want these are basically singletons we only want to have one yeah we only want to have one claimer in the room and one scout in the room right okay uh so in that case uh uh i'm kind of feeling i should just have a scout uh scout uh id creep and then uh claimer id creep as well should be fine now basically instead of the logic that's checking the maps um so i think that will need to move uh from right where is this actually used again from here entry controls are reserved entry controls are owned and entry rooms have scouts so basically this code uh specifically the functions yeah, these things need to move inside of the class, right. So, let me just move this to here. Okay. I'm not quite sure why the formatting ends up being so weird when I do that. Um, I think I will actually need to go and figure out my formatting overall because it's kind of broken right now sadly okay so we don't want to be taking a spawn because that gets uh, decided dynamically uh, empire so what do we actually take out of the empire um, cash room info get room Mm. Why do I even have this logic? Damn, my my memory is so bad. Yes, yes, I I know. Uh, I know that I need to set up the stream better. I am aware and thanks for stopping by and you know Good night, I guess or whatever you are intending to do uh, But yes, you know the, the, the not enough time <laughs> Just put it that way <laughs> Definitely not enough time to do anything uh, from last stream uh, And this stream is like very special, uh, you know not really planned anything. Yeah, it's it's almost nine here PM, so you know it's the other side of things. Wait, seven AM there. Where the Australia? Does that make sense? Am I guessing correctly? Yes, okay. I was like, it's definitely not US. <laughs> because US is way closer. Uh, and I was like thinking like, okay, how far do I need to go? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, thanks for watching in such crazy early time. 
uh, I'm definitely a night owl, so like I kind of wake up at like 9.15 right now. But I also go to sleep at like 3 a.m., so you know. <laughs> Uh, will anything be happening? Hmm. Hmm. Don't really see any official updates anywhere. Unless I missed something. Hmm. Okay, I guess let's just continue the game through the code a bit more uh, for now. Oh yeah, I'm definitely on Slack. Uh... So wait, did you do a new release or what's happening? No, it didn't do new, new release. Or is is it somewhere pr in Slack, private, something? Sorry, super. I'm super disorganized, so, you know. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, sorry, I misread your message. Okay, yes, yes. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, you should get a better computer. 24 minutes for compilation is unacceptable. Wait, you are streaming the 3D client, but... In what category? Are you, are you streaming in like programming, uh, science and what the heck is that thing called? Uh, science and technology, something, scripts? Then what the heck? I haven't seen anyone else streaming. Like yesterday we ran into one more person streaming scripts just randomly, like in the middle of the night. Like what the heck is your schedule? Or did you just, just like, start literally right now? <laughs> I think you are breaking the stream by <laughs> following. <laughs> it's, it's chugging a, quite a lot. Yeah, kind of funny. Ah, okay. That, then it makes sense. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, then, then things are starting to make sense. Okay. So... Why do I have such a weird... Okay, this comment is obviously wrong because we are not spawning drills over here. <laughs> um, why did I add such a weird logic here where I kind of... Don't spawn... The scout... If I have like recent enough... Info... Um, but that, that thing, that's not helpful having like recent enough info. I need to have visibility into the room, no matter what. Ah. Because this is when I don't have a parking flag. 
Right. Okay, right. So this is for rooms that are potentially hostile and I don't actually want to be sending my my scout over there all the time. Oh, now I remember. Okay, okay. Jeez. Um right. So the the idea is here that if we have a parking flag in the room, then the scout will just go and park on it. But if there isn't none, then all I want from the scout is to just peek into the room and make a snapshot. And in which case, if I have a recent enough snapshot of the room, uh, then I'm good enough and I don't want to send like more, uh, more creeps over there. Uh, so I think this is cool. And is that the only thing we use the empire for? Just for the cache to empire spawning. Right, I still have this spawning thing, um, which honestly should change from a set into an array. Um, hmm. And I'm also not sure if we actually need it. Um, because... Like the creep gets created immediately after uh, on the like next tick. Um, so the only thing I really need to prevent is that I don't double spawn on the same tick. Uh, right? Um, if we go to the. Oh, I actually have the documentation open over here. Uh, so this would be structure spawn. So if I do spawn creep, uh, starts the creep spawning process, uh, can be withdrawn, right. Now, uh, this doesn't really talk about hmm, what exactly happens. Um, there's this thing, and the spawning has the name of the spawning creep. Um hmm. So I wonder so if uh, memory right. So There is uh, memory dot creeps, right? Now, what I'm not sure about is, will this get filled in with the creep on the next tick, even if it's spawning? Hmm. Does anyone know? So if I do, you know, spawn dot uh, spawn creep, something that was a bit weird, but you know, something. Uh, I can kind of make sure that I don't double spawn on the same tick. That's fine. Uh, that's that's pretty easy to prevent. Uh, but to kind of prevent that I don't double spawn across sticks, that's a bit more tricky. Um, but if I get um, like memory, um, if I get memory dot creeps uh, creep name filled in immediately, uh, well, spawn spawning is one thing, right? Like so, that's that's from the direction of the spawn. But I'm I'm trying to figure out if I can get it from the from the other direction, right? Um, can I get can I get at the spawning creep from memory? Like when does it appear in memory? Does it appear in memory when it's 
completely spawned or does it um i'm pretty sure the the if i look at the id the object exists right okay yeah so it the the basically the next stick i will i will have it immediately if you set it from spawn creep uh wait what do you mean by set it um so we have structure spawn spawn creep which takes body name um and there's also game creeps right uh actually game creeps is maybe a better better way to check it right um ops memory right oh because this is optional ah right 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 oh it even says so okay i'm such a doofus okay right so it says memory of the new creep is pro if provided it will be immediately stored into memory.creep's name um so that's does immediately mean like the same thing so when this function finishes this thing is already stored uh that would be nice because then i don't even have to store anything on the side because i can just look into the memory that would be good Let's quickly check what's happening in the Slack, but I don't think there were any updates at all. Yeah, there's just a couple of people chatting. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I would really like to know if this gets like resolved in the next couple of hours or or just tomorrow. Hmm. Uh yeah, sorry. Uh I <laughs> I have seen your message and then managed to ignore it. Sorry about that. Um yeah, L let's let's try this thing. Do I need to specify my token? Ah, needs a token. Okay. Um, um, can I switch out of full screen? to enter okay yeah so let me i will just do this very quickly uh give me a second Holy crap, look at this fancy stuff. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, okay, so controls are kind of normal, I would say. Oh 
this is an interesting model. Uh, oh, right click, I can like, okay, sure. I can tilt and what do you call it? Rotate and stuff. Whoa, okay, <laughs> don't press the buttons for too long. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> that, was, that was a bit sudden. Uh, <laughs> So wait, so this is the controller? Yes. Interesting models, definitely. Hmm. Why is energy so tall? <laughs> Good answer. Uh, right, how do I... Um, is there like a map view? Or do I need to put in like a specific room? Uh, we can also go by specific room, that's fine. Uh, I kind of want to look into like a room that's more open than my, my crazy cramped room. Like in the 3D, it feels even worse, honestly. <laughs> like it feels like super, super cramped. Oh, I can scroll up. Ah, holy crap. Okay, that was like w way more intuitive than I would expect. Uh, oh, and it's like, uh, is it loading? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, it's saying connection timed out of 2000 milliseconds, so I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's disconnected at this point, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, very, very, very cool. Uh, I'm noticing some weirdness with... What are these? Uh, wait a second. Is this nothing? What are the white lights? Is that just like a rendering artifact or... Uh... Yeah, okay, there's something weird and potentially broken, I would say. Yeah, because now all my stuff disappeared. Uh, which could be that I'm... Because I'm disconnected somehow. Uh, but how... Would I, like, reconnect or something? Um, yeah, I mean, so there's there's like two connection timed out in the log. You pr it's very hard to read on the low resolution. Hmm. Okay. So let me try. Um, okay, let's see. I will. I will try to and connect to the normal world. Uh, Oh, okay. Mm. 
Mm, but I'm getting the suspicion that this is also not loading. Eh. Maybe. Okay, but I have no idea where I actually am. <laughs> I have to tell you. Uh, right. Uh, let's just... Uh, okay, no, maybe maybe it is working. Oh, jeez, these this tall, tall walls are... Wait, what the heck is this? <laughs> uh, oh, it's a tombstone. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's neat. Oh, those turrets are just... Those towers are just amazing. I love them. <laughs> Yeah, just my drill inside of a container. Yeah, makes sense. And this is my storage, right? Yeah, cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Uh, Nuke Explorer, okay. Uh. Okay, one feedback I have, the controls are way too sensitive. Like really, really sensitive. But yeah, it's it's a very cool stuff, definitely. Oh. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was totally missing that the nuke, <laughs> just like slowly ticking down. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Okay. That's amazing. But I think you should use like um, uh, what was the damn it, fat boy or what was he called? Because nukes are usually were like the old nukes were like you know shaped like um, more blobby, not not like uh, straight missile. But yes, yeah, this is very cool stuff. And thanks a lot for making the release. Like it's it's very cool to play with this. Uh, so are we still? Uh, okay, this is also very interesting. So as I have it open, I'm scrolling in a different window, but it's still <laughs> still listening to the input. That's probably not intended. I would expect. Yeah, K kind of getting the feeling why this is version 0 0.09. Uh, oh. Yeah, but that's we Okay, so this is Windows nonsense, right? Um, yeah, I think that's it's good enough for now. Uh, 
don't have to push this too much uh but yeah like windows mouse focus is super weird because there is a bit of a mouse focus but just a bit like it works for scrolling but when you start typing or doing other stuff then it works differently so yeah um But it's weird because I would kind of expect that the, the game wouldn't be even getting those events. Hmm. Because I'm pretty sure if I do the same thing with like a browser, it doesn't happen. Hmm. Yeah, but uh, it's, it's definitely specific to Windows because on Linux, uh, you get like full mouse uh, focus. So whatever window you are over with your mouse is in focus. In Windows, it's a bit weird because you have like window focus, but then for again, for some of the actions, you also have mouse focus. But yeah, Windows, well... Why be consistent? Um, Still doesn't really seem to be any updates. Yeah, no worries, man. Like this is very cool. Like I'm, I'm super. Uh, like this community around scripts is is just like in insanity incarnate. Uh, like there are so so many people that are like super passionate about this and doing super crazy things. And it's amazing to see. Like I was... So... For a long time I was looking into... Um, what the heck is that game called? Um, where you like in base mode you played in t in with in text with like special text characters um dwarf fortress yeah uh and honestly like this game is kind of itching the same like each uh not itching the same each what am i saying <laughs> scratching the same each um And apparently we also have like this type of crazy mods that also exist for Dwarf Fortress. Like that's, that's super cool. Like I, I will definitely play it once the Steam version comes out because that one is supposed to actually have like a proper UI and everything. Um, because I really couldn't ever get into the text mode. Like it was just too much for me. Um, And, and with like all the mods, it's kind of hard to get a good setup where things look the way I wanted them to look. But yeah, I mean, this is definitely similar style of stuff. I'm kind of waiting for the nuke to land. <laughs> do, do you have an animation for the nuke exploding? Or should I co close it before that? <laughs> okay. So yeah, then I, I think this will be this will be the end of the stream for today. We we will see the nuke explode and then I will end the stream for today. Uh, because yes, it doesn't seem like this is getting fixed soon enough. Uh, 
Yeah. I mean, yeah. So, thi so this one will land. So this is like a okay, real time time uh, real time timer, right? Wait a second. You have a day night cycle. I just noticed that. And th the shadows are moving. Wait, there's the sun. <laughs> what the hell? Where's the sun? Can I see the sun? I probably cannot see the sun. Can I? <laughs> Jesus. Uh. Oh, it even shows like where the nuke came from. Oh, okay. Okay. Jeez. Craziness, craziness. <laughs> it's kind of funny that the nuke is casting shadow. <laughs> I have to tell you, that's kind of... <laughs> uh, it's kind of nuts. <laughs> but super impressed, I have to say. Super impressed with all the crazy shit people are doing. Okay, there's actually some interesting information happening now in the Slack about the scoring things. Hmm. Interesting. So, how big is actually this thing right now? 270 megabytes. Yeah, okay, that's... Uh, and like 8... Uh, well, 90 megabytes is like Unity, I guess. Okay. Yeah, like all, all the system stuff is like a hundred megabytes. Okay, okay. Oh, I might. Okay. <laughs> good to <laughs> good to know. Th thanks for warning me. It's kind of, you know, kind of hard to gauge the scale of, of these kind of things. Is this good enough? I, I have seen that the guy is rage quitting, I think. <laughs> uh. 
I finished coding, okay. Yeah, okay, good to know. So yeah, now, now everyone expects him to just like trash everyone around him. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the, the the last message in Slack is amazing. <laughs> Testing code shows weakness since it implies that failure is is possible. Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah. Uh, man. Eight more minutes. Man, it doesn't look like eight more minutes, like it's very close. Mm, like completely offline at this point. Maybe they are actually restarting it now. Hmm. Yeah, we will see. We will see. Let me just put this to the side and see if, if it loads at any point. Because maybe it will eventually, you know. not loading for me yet even though they're saying it's actually fixed ah now something is happening okay let's... Yeah, okay, stuff is happening again. Uh, the thing is, I still want to see the, the nuke explode. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's not cover it up completely. Um, but yes, my creeps are working hard right now. I would really wish for the builders to kind of be more sensible and uh, concentrate on one thing, but I guess I can't have everything. Oh, damn it. Let's try to put this. Okay, let's just try it. Oops. Let's just put it on this side. And let's try to sneak in this over here. Oh, 
Yeah, so this thing is getting upgraded pretty reasonably fast. Uh, hopefully the extensions will land soonish because that would mean bigger workers. Um, now the question is, should I start remote mining? Um, the thing is, there's a, the these two sources are pretty close. Uh, well, okay, kind of need to go, well, don't really need to go through a swamp, uh, but for this one, yes. Hmm. But this one I could mine reasonably easily. Then these two... Uh, yeah, I feel like I should just start mining the three of them. Uh, because that will be fairly easy and that will boost my economy pretty well. Fortunately, I already have the logic for that, so don't really need to do any work on that. Um, but I think unless I have bigger creeps, it would be kind of wasteful to try to do that. Oh, and actually... Right now I kind of have it hard-coded that it actually needs a storage in the room, and I don't have one right now. So, yeah. Yeah, man, this, this will be interesting stuff happening for sure. Hmm. I might actually do another short stream sometime this week just to kind of catch up on what's happening in the... Yep, it's alive. It is indeed alive. Uh, I might do like a short stream to kind of catch up on what's happening on the seasonal world. What's the energy situation? It's like 600 and this one has like nothing. Okay. Yeah, I think we are kind of running at peak efficiency as far as the energy goes right now. Hmm. And picking up resources from the ground logic is still not working the best. Uh. Oh, and I think the nuke will explode soon. It's already in the ground. So let's just look at the nuke for a bit. Oh, not like that. Yes, this, this is a nuke and it should explode, apparently. Ooh, okay, I should have... <laughs> <laughs> that's way bigger than, <laughs> uh, than I expected. Okay. That's, holy crap. Like, that's m insanely big. <laughs> but but very nice. Very nice. I like the effect. Very nice. But yes, like, uh, should have, you know, zoomed out way more than <laughs> I was zoomed out. <laughs> Fortunately, there was enough time, <laughs> which is good. 
Um, yeah, very cool. Okay. So yes, I think I will wrap up for today. Um, things are happening for sure. Uh, thanks a lot for this. Like this client is perfect. I really love it. Uh, I will be using it from now on. Uh, not all the time, but from time to time for sure. My little colony is doing stuff. Uh, it's still very indecisive about, you know, what to do, which is really frustrating. Uh, but, you know, that's that's my fault. And hopefully I will fix it at some point. Um, but yeah, like things are happening. Uh, I feel like when I revisit this like tomorrow, I can kind of I will be able to kind of make better comparisons on like how well I'm doing compared to the people around me. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks a lot for joining me in this like, you know, uh, very uh, last minute stream. Um, I wasn't really sure if I would be able to stream at all today because work today has been quite crazy. Um, so I pretty much just like s switched off from work and immediately started the stream and it kind of worked out. So cool. So yes, uh, thanks again for joining me. Uh, and since we have like a couple of people around, uh, let's raid someone, I guess. Uh, do you have any recommendations? Is anyone streaming right now? Uh, let's see. Like if you have any recommendations, just let me know. Uh, oh. You know what? There's one streamer that I kind of like that's streaming right now. Uh, let's just visit him. Oops, come on. Cooperate. Cool. So thanks again for joining me. I might do another stream uh, sometime later this week. I'm not promising anything. It could happen. We'll see. So thanks again, and let's visit the uh, Bold Perdit Builder right now. See you guys. <laughs>